Hi, I'm Coach Cheyenne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about the driver. In the comments, a lot of you, and when I say a lot, a lot of you want to know how to hit your driver. So what I've decided is I'm going to do a three-part series, starting with this one, and then the next two weeks I'm going to drop one each week about the infamous driver. Just to give you guys a heads up, this is not the driver that I use. This is Robin Golf. is a company who sent me some golf clubs to test out for the beginner golfer um, and or really anybody who wants to try them out. What it is, it's nine clubs. You get nine clubs, a bag, and head covers. They look beautiful. I have also tested this one out a little bit before I started this video. And what's really cool is you get to see the imprint of the ball straight away to know if you're hitting the center or if you're gonna have a few miss hits. So I've hit a couple a little bit high. So all the information about Robin Golf will be in the comments below. They're also giving a discount to anybody that watches any of my videos, which is great. There are $800 for a full set of nine golf clubs, which is an amazing deal. So that's all the heads up I'm giving you about this. So if you see a few balls here and there, it's because I'm testing the driver out. Now let's get started with all things driver setup. Let's go. driving range outside. I purposely came out here so I could use tees to show you guys how to put your tee in. But to give you a heads up, I do have the Rapsido to kind of give you my yardage, ball speed, etc. So we know where it's going on the driving range. So golf setup. I, I'm sure all of you have watched my gaps videos. And if you haven't, at the end of this video, make sure you go individually and watch all the videos on grip. Aim and alignment, P for posture, S for stance, gaps. That is your setup, that is your golf fundamental. And you also can um, download the golf, the gaps guide, again, in the link below, and it'll be under each one of those videos. So gaps is currently God. Setup, let's talk about driver setup. So if we're starting with G, I'm gonna put the ball and the T down. We're starting with G, the grip. I'm going to do the neutral grip. If you don't know what that is, you will have to watch the grip video at the end of this one. So my left hand goes first, my right hand goes on top. I do the overlap grip. So mine looks like that. And I'm just gonna come and just swing the club and test it out. I'm nice and relaxed. I have like a five or a six out of 10 in terms of how tight I'm holding the club. So that's my G. We've nailed it, neutral grip. The next three, aim, posture, stance. Really, really important. But while we're doing that, I want to make sure you guys know how to tee for the driver. I've also done a YouTube video on how to tee it up on the tee box. But if you haven't seen it, again, end of this video, but I'll show you right now. So I have this handy dandy tee. Very convenient that it's given me a little blue mark for me to know how deep to dig it in. I like to have my golf ball nice and high when I'm using the driver. Nice and high when I'm using the driver. The rule of thumb is half the ball needs to be over top of my driver head. So let's push it in a little. There we go. So grip is great. You already know about aim and alignment, but if you don't, we're going to use these railroad tracks to guide us with feet. This is the target line. This is where my feet need to be. Okay, so I've put my club down. I'm gonna always, always, always close my feet. My left foot makes a 45 degree angle and my right foot is nice and wide. Usually I tell you shoulder width apart. For this one, you're gonna be a little more than shoulder width apart, looking strong, because everybody wants to crush their driver, myself included. So we wanna look strong, right? We don't wanna look stiff like a soldier, strong. So for our aim, what we're going to do is I'm gonna close my feet. So 
so I know my shoulders and my feet are square. They're all in a line. I'm going to move my left toes 45 degrees and move my right toes in a straight line. Like this. This is what I look like. So that is your aim. Your feet are lined up. One foot isn't overtaking the other foot. They are nice and straight. So both of my clubs, as you can see, they're parallel. So that is your aim for posture. As I mentioned, it might be better if you come from the front to see how wide I am going with my posture. So my club is down. I've given you a 45 degree with my left toe. Just aiming a little bit. This ball is going to be in line with the left heel with the left heel. So close my feet, move it a little bit, left heel, and then I take a little bit bigger than shoulder width apart for my stand. So this is what I look like when I am about to hit a driver. Irons, driver, wedges, nice and close, irons, driver, okay? So I look, in my head, I look solid. I look strong, I look athletic. I'm not tall and stiff. I am relaxed and looking very strong. If you play volleyball or basketball, you would look like this. That is kind of what I look like. Okay, so I have my grip. I have my aim because my feet are nice and lined up. My shoulders are square. Now my posture, I'm looking strong. Okay. And I've also kind of mentioned stance, right? How narrow or wide my feet should be. That is kind of part of my stance and posture. And from this side, as you were there before, you can see, it. I tell you not to stand like a soldier, right? I want you to look nice and athletic, nice and strong. So let's hit one to kind of show you what that looks like. And I'll do my full routine. You need to find a routine and stick with it every shot. Stick with the routine. And I am going to Let's do a quick recap. So I have my gaps. My grip is neutral. My aim, I am making sure that I'm always standing behind my ball before I start. So you have to make sure. A little hot tip, bonus, tee boxes, sometimes they're making you aim towards a tree, towards water, a hazard, which is why it's very important for you to come behind your ball. So I have my tee, nice and high. Everyone, nice and high. This tee comes nowhere close to halfway. I am keeping it nice and high, okay? So just a little bit, I just take a little bit and then let it go. Nice and high. You can use the lines on your ball if that helps you, if you're really, really new to golf, to kind of guide you as to where you want to go. But you have to stand behind the ball. Your aim is very, very important. You can have the best golf swing in the world, but if you're aiming towards the trees, it's gonna go in the trees. So we're back here, we're aiming. Please watch that video. I am finding something in the grass in front of me that I want to aim towards. So I have my G, my grip. I am finding, it's my routine. I'm finding that piece of grass I want to aim at. Perfect. I am staring at that piece of grass. I am now coming and putting my club nice and flat and closing my feet right behind the golf ball. Not over here, right behind the golf ball. I close my feet. 45 degree angle, 
nice and wide. I kind of wiggle to make myself relax. That's how I know how tight I'm holding the grip. So I wiggle or waggle just to like calm myself and kind of just do baby steps within my own space. I bend my knees and I'm sitting like this. My shoulders went from being square to dipping the right shoulder down a little bit. Okay, so I'm dipping the right shoulder down a little bit. I'm gonna do a nice smooth swing. that and Rapsido didn't catch it <laughs> but that was way over 200 yards I caught that very clean everyone and my tee flipped out of the ground and I'm really sad that she didn't catch it but sometimes it just technology is just like that <laughs> hi everyone I forgot to do a closing to the last video. So a little bit different. You're seeing me not on the golf course, but here we are. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions about your golf driver setup, um, please leave them in the comments below. All the links to everything that I've mentioned in terms of if you wanna see my other videos with gaps, with teeing the ball up, um, all things about Robin Golf, also in the link below. And as always, I do read the comments. So just like you guys asked me for driver videos, there's gonna be a three-part series. So thanks for watching the first part. Next Thursday, you're going to catch the biggest mistake I see with the drivers. And the week after that, part three, you're going to see three successful ways to hit your driver when you're on the golf course. See you next week. Thanks for watching.